Hey guys, welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. Today I'm going to be making this passy clip. It's a crochet passy clip. You can add your pacifier to it, whatever kind of pacifier you like to use. And I'm using a four weight yarn. You can use um, any color, variegated, whatever yarn you want to use. Alright, and here we go. Let's get started on this tutorial. Okay, so for this project, I'm using suspender mitten clips. This set, it was two in the package. It came from Michael's suspender mitten clips. It's by Loops and Thread. I don't know how much this package was because actually my son Elijah brought this home to me. And I don't know what he paid for it. This set I picked up at Hobby Lobby. It's by Soology. And it is a, it was $3.49 for two with pink hearts, which I thought was cute. They also had one that was a set like this, but it was white, um, the shape of a white flower. It was the shape of a flower and it was white. So, um, you know, that is another option for you. But today I'm going to use this clip and I'm going to use my H hook, which is a number five millimeter hook. You can use a smaller hook if you want to. Um, a five is kind of my go-to. And you'll need some kind of pacifier. And I picked this one up at Dollar Tree. And I'm using a four weight yarn, um, just a Craft Smart four weight yarn. If you wanted to use a smaller weight yarn and a smaller hook, that's fine. That's your preference. Just for, you know, play around with it and figure out what suits you best. Okay, so I am going to make a slip knot and put it on my hook. And I'm going to just bring it down here and kind of hold it here at the bottom. Stick my uh, crochet hook through, grab the yarn, and pull it through. And I'm just going to make this like a single crochet. So there we go. One single crochet. Two single crochets. Three single crochets. And four single crochets. Okay? And so I'm going to chain one. Turn my work. And I'm going to do a, for now on, I'm going to do double crochets. And I'm going to do a double crochet right back into that very first stitch. And make that a double crochet. Okay. And then a double crochet in the second stitch. And a double crochet in the third stitch. And then one more time in this fourth stitch. Okay, and that's what we got. And so each time for each new row, I'm going to chain one, turn my work, and double crochet. And I'm always going to double crochet back into that very first stitch so that I have four stitches to do here. So that's one, two, three, and four. Now you can play around with this. I've played around with it and I just kind of like the width of four stitches. You can try whenever you first do your cast on here, you can try to do only three crochet, you know, three stitches and see if you like it better with, um, with a three width. Um, you might like it thinner. I just kind of like the four, so that's what I'm doing mine with. So play around with it, make it your own. Um, these are cute with variegated yarns or solid colors or if you have some kind of theme going it would be cute my yarn is tangling up here okay so I'm just going to continue doing this and crochet in chain one turn my work double crochet into all four stitches until my 
work gets to be about six or seven inches long. I think that's about the norm for a passy clip. Um, if you have a different length, feel free to go with it. I'm going to uh, make this till about six or seven inches and then I'll meet back with you guys. Okay, I have my length of the yarn part down to seven inches. Uh, like I said, you can make yours a little shorter, longer, whatever you prefer. I don't know what the standard is. I think it's about six or seven inches, but I'm not quite sure on that. So whatever you think the standard is, go for it. So I'm going to just chain about 20 right here. Okay, that's 20 that I chained. And then I'm just going to come right back down here and go in this last stitch over here. And I'm going to slip stitch into it. So I'm going to pull my yarn through and then pull it through the uh, loop on my hook. And I'm going to go ahead and clip my yarn. Pull that through and tighten it down. Okay, so that makes a um, loop for the passy. So we have a um, strand here that we need to weave in. So I'm just going to turn this over, get my tapestry needle, big eye yarn needle, whatever you want to call it, and I'm going to just um, Try to weave this in. I always flip it over to make sure you can't see my needle on the other side. Okay, so I'll weave that in a few times. And I'm going to clip that yarn, throw it away, and come back to this tail and weave that in real quick. And I'm just going to go through a loop there. And try to go across here just it doesn't matter how you weave it in just try to weave it in somewhere okay that's good and then you just clip that tail off and then you have your um passy here so you can just pull this up Place your um, whole strand through that and pull it tightly. And there you have your crocheted passy clip. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this little short tutorial. If you found it helpful, please give it a like, a thumbs up. And I'll see you all, uh, I'll see you all again very soon. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you.